Hello, welcome to Straight to the Point Tutorials. Jose says hello from Madrid, Spain. Today I will be retouching a photograph using Dodge and Burn. Okay guys, welcome back. As I said, I will be enhancing or fixing this photograph using the Dodge and Burn technique. I will also use some artificial intelligence features of Luminar Neo to accomplish this. So without further ado, let's get into the computer and edit this photograph. This picture is flat, like it's really soft, but I want to enhance this uh, this photograph more. So uh, the first thing I will do, I will crop it. I will do a free cropping and I will convert it into a square around there. And the crop is fine. I will apply the crop. Now I will use my favorite tool, which is the enhancement. I will start with 30. I think 30 is fine. And then after the enhancement, let me now correct the skin. You know, the, she has some blemishes in the skin. So I will use the um, artificial intelligence skin retouching tool. And I will apply an amount. Let me go about 75 to see how it's going on. And I will take the skin defects removal. So, so far, so good. If you check the before and after, this is the before, this is the after. So good job. But still, I need to fix some little blemishes. I don't want to apply more skin adjustments, but to correct this, I will use the clone tool. Okay, so I will go to the clone tool. Strength, I will always try to start with 30%. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the first thing I want to sample, I want to erase this part. So let me click in here. It's too big. I will decrease the size. And then I will click and click again. Click again and click again. Let's see what happens. Okay, good. Let me now. Okay. Nice. I will do this. And do this. And here, that's fine. Let me check here. Okay. Good. Let me. It's too hard. I think here is too hard, but I can still fix it this way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now, uh, with that done, now it's time for me to enhance the face. I will do now the face enhancement. I will apply some face light. Okay. 50 is okay. Eye whitening. Eye enhancer. And dark circles removal. So this is to remove uh, this uh, dark circles of shadows around the eyes. So, so far, this is what we have. We move from here to here, okay? So if I were to add more enhancement to this, I will do some Dutch and burning. So I will click the Dutch uh, burn. I will decrease the amount to around 50. And then I will do lightning strength, always below 10, seven is fine. And again, Dutch and burning, one principle I use, I uh, apply to the T area. You're okay if you check the picture to the T area and also the cheekbones on top of the lip and the shin. So I will do that now. So I will decrease the size and start painting this area here and then move below here and here. Okay, so this is what you have done. Okay, this is just to. Uh, Highlight this area and then the chick bones there. Always check, right? Okay, I think it's fine. Now we'll move into the eyes. Okay, like this. Even though I apply dark circles removal, I always apply a little bit of Dutch and burning. Now here. In this case, dodge, okay? Now, let's increase the highlights in some other areas. I think it's looking good, okay? Nice. Okay, so one other thing we can do in here is, uh, I like a uh, photograph more into the warmer tone. That's my liking. If you like the way it is, or you applying the tone, a color you want, that's okay. But it's my liking to go to toward the 
the warmer side. So to accomplish that, I think I'm okay with dodge, um, dodging here. To accomplish that, I have to go to the develop. Let me see if I use the develop mode here. Yes, this is develop raw. I now can go to the color and increase the temperature a little bit around there. Switch the profile to camera portrait and then go back and see what happens. I can just wait for the tools, all the edits I did to load. Okay, so now you see, you see how it changed a lot just by doing some uh, quick enhancements. So I now can decrease the exposure a little bit. I think it's fine. There, let me go back to Dutch and burning. And I want to Dutch this area of the hair. I want to Dutch this highlights here. Let me see. Yes, I will increase this a little bit more and decrease the size. The idea is to enhance areas of the photograph that will create that interesting look. Um, there is a, a way to actually do this in Photoshop and other programs, but I think that uh, using artificial intelligence is helping me work faster. I think I'm okay with the hair. Let me do this here, a little bit more here. This creases of the, you know, every every part that you see that is highlighted, you want to kind of reinforce it or enhance it a little bit more. So far, yeah, we came a long way. So one thing, you know, this is not a clothing for a... Uh, old master type of painting but the light is okay I, I like the light so I will do one extra step here I will go now to the layers and add a new layer to this photograph so I have this texture here already so I will click this texture and I want to add this texture so I will switch the the blending mode to soft light and increase this to a hundred percent. Look at this portrait. Looks totally different from the one we saw at the beginning. You see? So there you have it guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, this is this is a way I do kind of uh, the old masters or Dutch and burning fine art type of editing. It's basically uh, enhancing the features of the face, applying Dutch and Burn, and then using a layer on top of the photograph to create that atmosphere. So if you were to, for example, if you don't want the effect to be uh, over her skin, so you always go back to the layer and then uh, use the masking tool, the brush tool around 70, and start erasing the effect from the model's face, if you were, right, to do it like this. I like it the way it is. You know, I I I will feel the entire uh, photograph because I, th I think that the effect is really cool. And there you have it, guys. So again, guys, thank you very much for watching the tutorial. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. And I see you in the next straight to the point tutorial. God bless you all. Bye-bye.